Welcome to video 114 and in this one we'll just download the assets that we need for making a destructible barrel. Okay, so first off just do a search for industrial barrels pack and so this is the best free package of barrels and I download it and import it. Alright, so when you're finished, it'll be all done. It'll ask you to uh, convert to Unity 5, which is just fine. So do let it do that. And uh, now I'll just go ahead and place it inside my imported folder. So let's grab the steel, steel barrels, drop them in. And I should just check the materials just before I go forward. Yep, so they're all legacy shaders. Uh, so you know what to do. Go ahead and convert them all to uh, the standard shaders. So like for this one, just go to standard and just find out where that material is. Well, that texture, drop it into the metallic and it'll look about about right. Okay, so anyway, just keep going ahead, and then I showed you previously, like, uh, for the other ones, let's just go there. For example, this one, Bump Specular. So yeah, use the Specular setup, and just drop it down. Yeah, just drop that down, and you can remove the smoothness, I mean, reduce the smoothness a bit uh, to get a closer uh, appearance to the original. Okay, so you go ahead and do the rest. Okay, so I've set up all of mine, and uh, now I need to get also another uh, particle system, the default particle systems. So import package particle systems. So now if you don't have this, you can go to the asset store and download the standard assets package, and inside of that there will be this uh, particle systems. Okay, so just to uh, import it all. And when it's done, I'll just grab the contents of it. So all of this, drop it into here, into that folder uh, that I had, because I buried it down underneath inside of gtgds 3 folder, and I'll just delete this uh, original standard assets folder. Okay, so that's the uh, particle systems downloaded. And actually, I'll go to them, and I'll actually set up the explosion uh, for the barrel itself. So this explosion prefab here. It's the uh, particle system for explosions, so you can, well, if you, oh, well, you could write a script or whatever to see it in action all together. But anyway, I'll just tell you that it looks all right for the job. So I'm just going to use that one. I'll just duplicate it, and I'll just call it explosion barrel. And I'm going to get rid of the uh, physics force, so get rid of this component here. I don't want it to apply a force. I'm going to do that using my explosion script. So get rid of that. And I'll attach a particle destroy script. So particle system destroyer. Yep, that's the one. So then it will uh, remove the particle system after it's instantiated. Uh, and that's it. So that's my explosion effect set up. So I've got most of the assets down. Now I'll uh, go back to the asset store. Let's bring it up. And this time I'll search for a detonator, detonator a framework, something like that anyway. Let me just search for it. That's it. Detonator explosion framework. Now from this all I'm going to do is to just get the sounds. I don't want to get anything else, so just take care with it. Uh, so I'll just uncheck everything. Let me just Take great care. Okay, because it was made with uh, it's for Unity four. It's it is a bit old. You can you can import it into a empty scene, and then uh, adjust it so that it starts working uh, correctly. It, in fact, it may be working just fine on Unity five, and it is there a really really nice set of uh, explosion effects. But uh, all I'm just doing is I'm just getting the sounds to just act as uh, placeholders. They're not totally suitable for like an. Ex they're, well, they're not suitable for an exploding barrel, but they'll do the job. At least there's something that I can use as an explosion uh, in this uh, chapter. Okay, so with that, let me just get only the sounds. Import. And let me just find out where to put that. There we go, it's over here. So I'll just put it in imported. And done. 
Okay, so that is it uh, for this chapter. We've downloaded uh, the stuff that we need. Like you can go to the steel barrels, and you can see uh, there well, there's just one barrel standard, and you just change the material uh, to become the barrel that you want. Now I'll show you much later on in this chapter, not now, uh, about what I was talking about earlier in the previous video of having a modified version of Blender uh, to fracture the object. So I'll show you that way later in this chapter and how to do that. But for now, that's it. That's good. You've uh, made a start. You've got the assets down. Uh, and now let's keep moving forwards. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.